Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel we discuss finance and travel. The topic of this video is scamming, so let's get started. I guess you have heard the word scammer before, but what is a scammer? A scammer is someone who uses illegal methods to obtain money, especially by tricking people, companies or institutions. Scamming isn't only used for financial trickery, but also for damaging people emotionally. We will go into detail on that emotional part later in this video. The goal of a scammer is to benefit financially by scamming a person. This can be a stranger, but often also family members or friends. The reason they choose family members or friends is because there already is a feeling of trust. It is natural to think that someone close to you is trustworthy. We live in a world where digital currency is becoming the new normal. But because this is new territory for the majority of people and rules and regulations within the crypto scene or grey area, it is the perfect environment for scammers. Who doesn't want to get rich quickly by investing in crypto? Scams in crypto often happen online on social media like WhatsApp groups and Snapchat. Scammers approach their victims by telling fake stories about coins that are usually worthless and encourage their victims to buy small or large amounts and ask their peers to invest also. For a short amount of time the value of the coin rises until the creators of the coin sell the majority at once. By selling large amounts the value of the coin drops and the other investors lose all their money while the creators profit from the sale. This is also known as pump and dump. Also scammers can approach people through various platforms to help them invest in crypto. They usually select people who have little to no knowledge about the subject. What to do? First educate yourself by reading books, reading articles online, attending webinars and watch YouTube videos about crypto. In that way you make sure you understand it yourself so you can fact check if someone approaches you with false information. If you don't understand it, you don't need to invest in it because it will be a recipe for disaster. This goes for crypto, stocks and any other thing where you risk your money. Use logic and be realistic. Even if you invest in popular coins that are doing well, the chance that your 200 euro investment turns into 50,000 euros is very small. Even bitcoins took many years to become a coin of value. If you want to invest in crypto after educating yourself first, you can make use of well-known exchanges such as Binance and Coinbase. You can do this yourself and assistance isn't necessary. Scams by phishing is when scammers approach victims by email, text and other methods to gain private information like passwords, credit card details and other bank information. They recreate websites and payment platforms to mislead their victims. Be alert by not clicking on links that are sent to you without proper investigation. Never share your credit card or bank details. Banks or credit card companies will never approach you to ask such details. If you are not sure, double check yourself by contacting the bank. Scammers are always in a hurry. Make sure you take your time to find out if it's legitimate. Love scams are when someone is approached offline or online for a romantic relationship. Quickly several problems occur when the scammer needs financial support from their victim. This often comes with tragic stories of diseases, possible danger, tragic accidents and even death of family members or in some cases the fake death of the scammer. That last one was the case in the Netflix series The Girlfriend That Never Existed. Scammers don't back down to tell their victims juicy and extreme stories, combined with love bombing and other emotional mind games. 
They trick their victims into giving them their time, their love, their trust, and their money. So what to do when you meet someone online or offline that starts to ask you money in an early stage? First ask yourself, why are you in love with someone you haven't met in real life? To have a real relationship, you should at least video call with someone and meet them in person. Face-to-face -face interaction is necessary to establish a bond. There might be something that you are missing in your life that you desperately want to believe in this amazing new person. With the result of you not seeing the red flags that are in front of you. Ask friends and family members for advice as they usually are able to view the situation with less emotion. Second of all, have you asked the right questions and did your research? Who is this person you just met? Who are their friends? Are they in contact with their family? Have you met any real family members? Usually it is difficult for a scammer to incorporate their family and friends in their scams. So they usually operate alone. Unfortunately, in Europe, the privacy rules are strict. Therefore, it is difficult to do a full background check on a person. The one tip I can give you is to never loan someone an amount of money that you are not willing to lose. Because if it ends badly, no one can save you and only a small percentage of the victims really get justice for the emotional pain and financial loss they have suffered. The majority of scams have a financial goal, like for example the Tinder swindler. But sometimes the goal is to play with people's feelings. This is when a person pretends to be someone else just to play with their victim's emotions. I think we all have heard about catfish and the many people that were fooled throughout the years. But have you heard about Sweet Bobby? It is about a young lady that becomes the victim by an emotional scammer with a very, very twisted mind. In the end, victims might not lose their money, but they lose their trust in people and they lose their hope for real love. Unfortunately, there is no cut and clear description of what a scammer looks like. Scammers come in all shapes, forms, nationalities and genders. They do have some things in common. That is urgency. There is usually an urgent situation or crisis going on where they have to act fast and want your help. Because of the chaos, the victim doesn't have the time to think or fact check. Lastly, there needs to be a victim. Someone who's open to be scammed. Someone who is vulnerable emotionally or someone who is in need of money or wants to get rich quickly. Ask yourself, why are you trusting someone whose stories don't add up? And why are you having a conversation with someone who approached you through social media to earn money? Why would they do that? Is it really in your benefit? We all have been scammed in a way. Sometimes by something little, as the hotel not looking like the pictures on the internet. Sometimes by things like large amounts of money. In the end, what is the underlying reason that you are a victim of this? Is it love that you are searching for? Is it money that you need? Is it the fear of missing out or the hope that your dream will come true this time? You should always be alert and use your common sense, if you have it. For extra support, you could always rewatch this video. Of course, there are more scams out there. Let me know if you want to know more about other scams in the comments. Thank you for watching and be safe out there. Love and light. See you in the next one.